there's more we can do with attributes in ER diagrams. So you can have something, a simple attribute, which is you know, what we've been discussing, salary, position, but you can also have a composite attribute, which is an attribute that has multiple components. For example, an address actually has a few different, a different, a few different components, street, city, zip code, so state. So here we have an example of a student with an ID, which is a simple attribute. ID can't be broken down anymore, it's an ID. But here we also have an example of name. A name is really, there's first name, there's last name. So it's made up of more than one simple attribute. If you have name, it's really first name and last name. So here, in this example, you can see the composite attribute is, um, you have both a simple attribute and you also have the composite one. The simple one is the ID and the composite one is name. And, and you know, address is another good example that can be broken up into into multiple pieces. So this is how you would depict it in your ER diagram if you had something like um, that can be broken down in multiple components. Now I want to talk about single attributes versus multi-valued attributes. Sometimes, well usually you have an attribute that's only one value. Some, this is someone's branch number, okay? That's their branch number. But sometimes you can have a, a multi-valued attribute that ha has more than one value. For example, a phone number. A someone can have multiple phone numbers or multiple hobbies. So now you depict that in a different way. While this would be a single valued attribute, social security number, you only have one of them, ID, GPA, you could only have one. But then we get to this case where phone number, uh, maybe I have I have a work phone number, I have a cell phone number. So um, how would you depict that if you wanted to show that someone has more than one phone number? You can do the double oval. And that shows there's more than one, maybe email address, you know, address, you, if you have multiple. So if you if there's a case in your database where someone can have multiple of them, you you depict it with the double oval. So here's an example where you have you know, the ID is our, our regular, you know, single, our, our simple, our single one. But then you have these multi-value attributes such as address and phone where someone can have multiple addresses and multiple phone. And you can see here it's, it's broken down as well. So here we have our single-valued, multi-valued, composite single-valued, composite multi-valued, and let's keep going. Now we have something called derived attribute. Now most attributes we deal with are, are not der derived. They have, you know, this is what it is. But sometimes you can have something that you don't actually have the value. Um, at the moment, it's a value that you can get. It's a value that's derived from something. So in this example, deposit is twice the monthly rent. And I'll give you some other examples as well. So here we have average salary. Um, and age. So average salary is something that's derived from salary and the number of employees. Age is something that's also derived from date of birth. So if you have a date of birth attribute, age is not, age changes. So it's not something you can say, okay, this employee is this age. The next year is going to be a different age. But you do have the date of birth and it is something that can be derived and can change. So how would you depict it? Well, this is the dotted oval. So now we have a dotted oval that we're going to add. So if it's something that's derived that you don't, um, it's not like this thing that um, you currently have, but it's something that's derived or computed from something else, then you would put it in these, this dotted oval. So now we're gonna put it all together. And what do we see? We have um, name, which is broken into first and last. So that was our um, composite attribute. And we have our ID, which is our regular single, you know, simple attribute. And then we have our phone, which is um, our multi-value attribute, because if someone can have multiple phone numbers. And then we have our age, which is derived, it's derived from this other field that's date of birth that's there. So now we learned how to 
create the composite where where if something kind of goes together with something else you you would put it in composite to show that they're you know it's kind of connected in some ways it's a part of the other one and then we also show the double oval which shows that there could be more than one and we also can show this um dotted uh oval which will show this is something that's derived so now our er diagrams are much more um complete a little more complicated but a lot more complete